everyone. Welcome back to Dorsch Homestead Acres. Uh, Mandy and I are on our way to Delavan to pick up our bees. We're picking up a couple of nukes. Um, we're going to get started on our apiary tomorrow. Um, later on when we pick them up and I get these set in the apiary, I'll describe what a nuke is. It'll make a lot more sense when I have something to show you. So we'll catch back up with you when we get down there. All right, we just picked up our nukes. I didn't want to film there. There was a whole bunch of people around. I wasn't sure if they'd be comfortable on our YouTube channel. Um, so here's our two nukes. Each nuke has five frames in it. Have a couple of frames of brood, one of honey, and a couple of pollen, I believe is how it works out. So we'll take these home tonight, set them up in the apiary, and tomorrow we will get them transferred into our hives. All right, just got home pretty late here after 10 o'clock, so tomorrow morning I will haul the nukes out to the apiary, um, open them up, let them out for their orientation flight, and then when it's eh, sometime in the afternoon when it's nice and warm and a lot of them are out flying around, I will move the frames into the hives and we'll pick up from there tomorrow. Good morning everyone. It is the next day here on Dorsch Homestead Acres. Uh, start this off with all of this beekeeping stuff. I am absolutely new to this, so I am by no means an expert. I'm probably going to make mistakes. I'm probably going to do stuff wrong, so don't take my word as gospel, please. Um, I've hauled the nukes out to our apiary to let the bees get oriented to their new homes. I've set the respective nukes onto the hives that they will be going into. Um, I do have the entrances opened up so the bees can get out and start to do their orientation flight. However, it is only about 30 degree, 30, 35 degrees out, so it'll be a while before they venture out. I did go with carniolan bees. Um, did that for a few reasons. They're supposed to be more adapted to the cold and more rapid changing temperatures. They were developed in the Austria, Slovenia area in the mountains. So yeah, they are supposed to be more cold hardy. And here in Wisconsin, we do get cold. Later on today, when it warms up, it's supposed to get into the 50s, I think at least, I will come out and transfer the frames from the nukes into the hives. And I will also feed them with a one-to-one -one mixture of sugar and water. So I will catch back up with you when I go to do that. All right, um, it's warmed up a fair amount here, so I'm going to work on getting these nukes moved into the hives. Um, the green one is quite a bit less active, so I'm going to start with that one. I've pulled out five frames in the center. I will move out, move those frames in. As you can see here. The purple one is quite a bit more active with a lot of bees buzzing around and starting to get oriented to their new location. Um, fortunately it's just me today so I will have to do my thing and then pick up. I won't be able to film. You won't be able to see me get all stung up. So we'll be back in a bit. All right back real, back real quick here. Um, I've opened up the green one. They were all on top. I have smoked them down some to try to get them a little calm and down in the box. So we will work on moving the frames. Unfortunately, like I said, I need two hands to do this, so we'll be back in a bit. All right, I got them moved. Seemed to go pretty successful. Once again, the hive on the left which came from the purple box is a lot more active than the one that came from the green box that's now blue but hopefully they'll perk up here there was a lot of bees in there and they were moving around so I'm starting to buzz I do have to go mix up a little more syrup to put into the one on the left and I'll do that now top their feeder off and then leave them be all right, came out here to check on them this afternoon. Now that it's warmer, there's a lot more activity. Lots of buzzing going in and out of the hives, doing their orientation flights, learning their new homes. 
as I stated earlier, they will be fed with syrup um, for the next two or three weeks until the nectar flow and flowers are really going that they can be foraging naturally. And this will about do it for today, so everyone have a good one. We'll catch you later.